Hello. Hello. Welcome. Our, your mic is so shitty right certain now. Certain traits of several Hearthland or cultural pillars, including games, movies, TV series, books, and any additional quantifiable entities. This debate is brought to you by the Große Deutsche Eidgenossenschaft, Reichtum, Hingabe, Treue, and Kraft. Not the Hainite Council? This debate is commissioned by the Hainite Council Commission on Index Debates, a for-profit, heavily politicized organization of which I am a member. The debate will last however long it takes to index a number of topics predetermined at the drafting of this debate, and will cover an assortment of topics as outlined by our two normal hosts and guest debater who I will now introduce. Hailing first from the frozen north, he is a gamer of considerable skill, loyal half-Canadian, coming to us from somewhere vague in Ontario because he is paranoid of getting doxxed. A well-known figure among his groups, an honorary ally of the Seven, former like king an and present-day administrator of the official Hearth server, War Cries. Woo! War Cries! Hailing from the desolate land of Chicago, Honorary Spin Jitsu Master and political scholar in training, he spends his time drafting Minecraft roleplay AAA hits, such as the Old Vale Survivors. Server first, <laughs> champion of Hearth by rank, and <laughs> paragon of the Hearth Among Us branch, former communist neophyte turned conservative firebrand, Sarfnik. Hey. Sarfnik. Now Good introducing idea. our first guest debater, retired professional Minecraft duelist and anime connoisseur extraordinaire, hero of Hearth by rank, hailing from the far-off land of Nova Scotia, where he toils away, training his considerable mental capabilities using the tried and tested method, method of Rubik's Cube training. It's, it's Sam. Well, Sam. Yay. The rules and format for this debate. The first debater chosen randomly will select a topic to be indexed from any category. The literal God presiding, yours truly, will grant a preliminary rating on each relevant category. Before passing final judgment, the oppositions will be allowed a chance to rebuttal, and the nominator will be allowed a brief response, an attempt to change the ruling of the literal god. Finally, the guest debater, it's Sam, will be allowed a chance to weigh in. If the guest star is nominated, the lucky trump coin will determine which of our normal two hosts will be able to debate first. Please refer to the rating indices on the official Eisen Index Google document or appropriate Google slide. Tonight, for our fifth edition, we will be indexing a total of nine topics between our three debaters. Stand by for the random generation of who will nominate first. I'm gonna start, start off with two is War Cries, two is Sam. It's always War Cries. Rolling. One, Sarfnik will nominate his <sighs> first topic of the night. Right. Go ahead. I nominate Team Lorax from Hearth SMP Season 5. Sarfnik nominates Team Lorax. This will be counted as an entity. We stand by. Good one, Fade and Cobra as hackers, but still include Dragoon as a hacker, okay? All right, we begin with the preliminary rating of Team Lorax by the Literal God. The relevance to the Literal God, they were very relevant. They were an arch nemesis in Hearth SMP Season 5. That makes them relatively important. More so of importance is their lore significance, which if anyone actually follows the Hearth canon, they'll know. Warcraft. The philosophical merit of Team Lorax, as discussed in their theme song, which is also rated on here, I believe, somewhere. Oh man, you, you environmentalist types crack me up. They really do. We're gonna give the philosophical merit of Team Lorax a, we'll give it a D. It's just not very well-rounded. You had some good people in there, like you're a Monty, but you can only polish a turd so much. <laughs> the rational merit of Team Lorax, I have to admit, was actually higher than I expected. Reason being is because even though they were only outnumbering me by two, they were able to draw me to a standstill, which is better than Sarf normally does. So let's let's think on this. Combative merit of Team Lorax isn't great, and the rational merit, apart from Euromonti's gold farm in Hearth SMP Season 5, was just trash. However, Euromonti did contribute significantly to their wealth, and they even rivaled me at one point in the early piece of the season. We'll be generous and give them a C. 
The mean potential of Team Lorax. Oh man, I shouldn't even have to discuss this. <laughs> As I said, Sam, there's a case here. Which is yes, above the keck. Here. The keck. This is a keck tier. <laughs> yeah, mean keck. potential team. Yeah. We have several fights to this day. <laughs> the, the the 2v1 between Uramonti, you, and myself, where Exic is just yelling at you the whole time. Sarfnik, it's a 2v1. Pussy, pussy. That, that still sounds <laughs> in my memory today. Sarfnik, quit bitching, it's a 2v1. <laughs> Very nice. That's exactly what he's saying. My see personal it. approval right. of Team Lorax. For sheer dint of it was better than the Kingdom of Ethia, we will prevent this from being a cringe. <laughs> By being a felonious level of personal approval, you've, Don't slandered, our base. you've slandered me. You've personally slandered me through the usage of Hollywood and media through your theme song. I don't want to destroy Hearth, I just want to take all of its natural resources. Okay. <laughs> so I say how we nominated, do this. Sarfnik nominated Team Lorax. Warcry, you are our normal debater. You can respond to this first. We'll let okay. Sam be the final say. Uh, yes, I, uh, that's exactly what I was going to suggest. So, um... <laughs> Can we just talk about the group's overall PvP skill? Yuri's yes. good at economy. <laughs> He's not a good PvPer. Sorry, sure. like you've seen his battles with me. He never got me down more than three hearts while I nearly killed him multiple times. Sure. And he had to retreat multiple times. I never had to retreat a single battle. He also dropped his sword mid-battle because he's smart. Um, oh, sorry, with you on the actual server, if I remember correctly. He had to PA because of that. He also oh. didn't know the hearth rules and broke rules multiple times because True. he didn't know them. <laughs> These are all good points. This is, this is just Sarfnik. The team member, uh, anyway, Sarfnik also recruited some very untrustworthy members as allies, many of which became spies. Or hackers. Sarfnik, yes, or I was hackers, about to mention that. Yeah. So I, I think that solidifies <laughs> lowering um, rational merit even more. Even if I agree. I agree. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to an F. Uh oh. Okay. Wow, Sarfnik, it's not looking so good. Lorax did well. like a rebuttal to this. Yep, so so Sarfnik, you you nominated, you'll now have a chance to rebuttal, and then Sam will get the final sex. Sarfnik was not aware of any of these traitories or these hackers. Doesn't matter. They just chose to do on their own as independent. Doesn't matter. And after we, uh, after more our guys, graduation spanning, Team Lorax was clean. We had a Jiv, a loyal servant, and we built Team Lorax Island, the best base in the entire fucking server on the XS. Debatable. No one else grinds Debatable. on the Obje Objection, your honor. Objection. Objection. This is not allowed. You it was incomplete. Ladies and gentlemen, you agreed to these debate rules. <laughs> Narfnik, continue for your one minute and a half. <laughs> we built a wonderful island with truffula trees everywhere, caves. We had very loyal members after we banned the scum. We were the largest team okay. on the server. It was bound to have a few that's, bad apples. That depends on who you ask. That's not necessarily true. But we had KK. We had K <laughs> Cody, the Lorax, Lady Lorax, as I call him, with the boobies. You gotta respect that at least. Yiramonte is a very good, probably one of the best SMP players. Sure, he couldn't do PvP, but he grinded hard, built one of the best farms in the server, man. Patrick, true, true. Team Lorax created all the grand events of the war, man. We, thank, thank you, Mr. Sarfnik. What ratings would you like to see changed, if any, with the last piece like of your? I would like to see rational merit raised to a D, because we had no idea we had actual hackers in our forces, and this is partially because of war cries <coughs> and roping people to become spies and traitors. Man. Okay, but it's about trust. <laughs> we should have trusted them beforehand. Shouldn't have recruited people we didn't trust. Uh, you agreed to these debate rules. Man. Hmm. Um, it, your time's over, sir. Mr. Warcries, that's that's enough. Okay. Are we? Um, I thought we were allowed to do more rebuttals if we disagreed with uh, them. Later, later on, we need to get Sam in here first. I'm going to rate barely rational merit to a D. Barely, because it started <laughs> off as a C. Good! Your Monty is the only thing buoying this at this point with his economic skills. <laughs> Sam, what would you like to see changed here? You have two minutes. Uh, honestly, I don't know, man. The fact that Sarfnik said his base was the best. I went there once and it was like, it went on for like 20 blocks and then they just stopped building it. Check, check, true. Uh, we were in the <laughs> middle, we were in progress of building it. <laughs> like you, you- So was my base and I quit the SMP you, out of three you went, you went like maybe one third of the island and then No, no, we stopped. did a good two thirds of it. 
<laughs> now you're quibbling. Oh, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> what would you like to see the ratings change oh, of this beast? I don't hit? know. I don't know. For lying. That's... And philosophical, for the, perhaps. For the... Yeah, philosophical, but... Yeah, I'd say philosophical, bring it down a notch. I no! agree. Oh! Okay. <laughs> do we have any yeah. additional contentions yeah. before I make my final rating? Yeah. War cries! Okay. What contentions do you have? So let's just go over here a few things. After you purge the traitorous scum. Who were the traitorous scum? Half his team. All right, we had... Sorry. We, we had Dragoon was a hacker, so we, we purged him. True. <laughs> uh, there was also Phantom well, Cole, traitorous scum, got purged as well. It's not a hacker. But he was traitorous. By the way, that was a bluff. A hacker. That, was a bluff. <laughs> that was a bluff on Warcry's. He never actually betrayed you. Yeah, yeah but he actually did. actually brings down even he more. He did betray No, he betrayed, he betrayed me. Sorry. He betrayed me, be, or he betrayed you because... Because you were taking so you witch hunted him. Yeah, you witch hunted him despite the fact that I was it was complete lies. That's was completely framed. justified. He was for framed. Like I point. arrested him, although he was framed, I didn't know. There was evidence against him. That's why but I you should, you didn't have enough. There wasn't proper. Lord Christ took a fucking <laughs> Discord snapshot and photoshopped it and you ate it up. Don't play this stuff <laughs> as anything other than you <laughs> Oh rational going down. It's Anyways, continuing. So who else is who else is <laughs> Would there, would there be any other contentions? Yes, I do have other contentions, but okay. I want to Green I Path is playing right now, it's hilarious. Who else? Anyone else? Or Fungal Waste, I'm not sure which one it is. <coughs> He's muted, just give him a moment. <laughs> oh, well, there was also... What's getting there was, muted. I was discussing <laughs> stuff with the chat. So, okay. you dare so, accuse... I do not remember it. <laughs> uh, so are there I any additional... Additional hacker scum that you would like to name that were aligned with you? Oh, aligned with you. Okay, okay. Part of there was Colbert. Who, I'm talking within a team. There was Colbert, who is also I'm... aligned, who was aligned with me. <laughs> and he was. I recruited him because he wanted to be on my side, and he hated war cries. It was for a sure dislike yeah. of war cries. Okay. So I, I had no part in his hacking. And also, I would like to mention Fadefa. He apparently only hacked that one day just to get a world down or whatever. That was a correction. Oh. I already caught. I I know that was uh, like uh, Did you really just they, try? It's and like just... the Incredibles meme. Hacks is hacks. <coughs> you just uh, you just yeah, tried yeah, to, to make an excuse hacker for a apologist. hacker. He had worse yeah. called a week before that. He was just hiding it well until that last day when okay. I made it. Well, again, I had no right? part no part in him actually hacking. Was, just, they and yeah, I had the only functional. I did not have it. sexual relations with I'd that like woman. I'd like to add. You I had just the tried only to functional team. Him Aramis's one teammate never played. It was still yeah. functional. Though. It I had, at least it was the good Did that win you the war? Did that win you the war, sir? No. And war. Uh, Warcraft's well, teammates were inactive. Uh -huh. Steel didn't log in. Uh -huh. Snowfall barely Thank logged Mr. in. Sarf, Nick. Thank you, Mr. Sarf. Thank you, Mr. Sarf. Anyways, continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So, for one well, time here. here, 30 seconds more for okay. contentions. That, that, uh, Sarf, Nick took a lot of that up, to be fair. Yeah. So, I'm going to speedrun. So, okay, Cody was actually another traitor of scum. You did not mention him, therefore, your entire argument against traitor scum is invalid because you didn't even realize one of them were. Ooh. Anyways, continuing. Um, we also have the fact that yours was actually not the biggest team though in the server, moderates was. True! Fact check, true! Mm -hmm. Someone paid attention to the war docs. Oh, <laughs> uh, Any, what? Anyways, sir. Oh, uh, what? Moderate team I... was not the biggest. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Star, but... we had quite a few We're gonna lower, there. we're gonna lower the rational We had merit. more! <laughs> we had like four more! <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, that's, okay, how much did Moderate have? Like more than you Moderate? <laughs> you to these My team was ones. Sarfnik. It was Sarfnik, Yuri, Sarfnik. a Jiv, Game You rat. agreed to these debate rules. Hey, <laughs> Sarfnik. All right, folks, it would have been six. better if you actually did anything for your team. I will now give the, the final rating. The literal world. god has heard enough. <laughs> the final rating of Team uh, War. I know its uses and they are few. Oh no! Warax gets a degenerate rating. <laughs> this is so much fun. Sarfik, you nominated Team Lorax. I will now randomly select between Sam and Warcries. Oh. Lucky Trump coin. So Heads, Sam. 
will oh, nominate God. the first subject of the night. Take um, it away. Ah, hmm. uh, Wargirl last. That was a fun debate. <laughs> Yeah, anime, right with the Just thing. anime in general. Anime as an entity in general. Yeah. Very well. Okay. Okay. The relevance Easy. to the literal god until no, a while ago, with very limited exception in my youth, would have been little to none. I, however, in my goal to experience all that humanity has to offer and index all that humanity has to offer, I gotta hit anime at some point, right? I will say, this will be as an IC because this subject is just so vast, so I will note this as the IC. <laughs> okay. He means incomplete, Sam. Yeah. I was looking. Don't worry. I re I reviewed the document. <laughs> Sam came prepared. <laughs> okay. The relevance to the literal god of anime has increased substantially over years. The meme potential is a strong result of this. For instance, I never would have come across JoJo weren't it for the meme. <laughs> Yes, I did watch JoJo just for the memes, ironically. There have been some really good ones, some really bad ones, but regardless of what you say... My ad, we have an anime fan in the chat. TNG is in the chat. Yeah, yeah Nep oh, Nep's nice. Nep Nep a hardcore. We he also asked me five nights I ahead. swear, if you guys give anime a bad rating, I will smite you all. <laughs> it's the philosophical <laughs> merit of anime. The philosophical, the philosophical merit of anime... I can't talk real racistly agent for a second, would be actually fairly high. The concept as a whole greatly appeals to me, particularly within action sequences, and particularly that a lot of westernized animations that won't, wouldn't qualify as anime in the traditional sense, even though they are animation, have drawn from this and have done very, very well we have one individual on this list, Castlevania, which is a Keck rating, so that's a good example I of can that. Second this life you know what? You take the bad with the good. That alone gives it a philosophical merit of an A in my mind. Cool. Granted, there are some bad eggs, but as I say, there are bad eggs everywhere. The rational merit of anime. This is where anime may lose some points. For the fan base of anime does not take the true oh, message God. of most anime to heart. True. Uh, I say this as as I stand on my high horse, uh, <laughs> and all of your opinions are wrong, et cetera, et cetera. <sighs> what to give the rap? Yeah, you're the literal god, obviously. Yeah, see exactly. See, Sam gets it. <laughs> better than hard. Yeah, probably. Anime. I like scanned over the document. I already know more about. National it's merit of anime. anime gets docked on a few, <clears throat> a few, few pieces here. The plot uh, lines tend to fail on on more than a regular amount of occasions, but you don't stay for the bloody plot lines half the time. Generally, it's <laughs> characters for me. I'll give you an example. The Great Pretender. I'm not sure if you're familiar. I came. I, am. I love that show. The cringy plot lines, I stayed for Laurent. Laurent is literally <laughs> Synthoris. Laurent is literally Synthoris. Yo, that's so true, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that does... I will agree with you on that. You are, he is a lot like you are. We'll give the rational oh. merit of this a C. And and by, by Synthoris, I mean the actual canon character of Synthoris, my old yeah. Dungeons and Dragons character, who is <laughs> pretty useful, but give the rational merit of C. Oh man, that's great. <laughs> The meme yeah, potential of anime is clearly oh, a K. Yeah. JoJo memes alone would be enough to catch both this point Yeah. Yep. And plus, even if it's a bad meme, you just get to make fun of, of the weediness of the of the poster <laughs> in the chat. There, yeah. There is no lose in this situation. My personal <clears throat> approval of anime is mixed. I have seen some incredible anime that are truly profound, have great messaging, or have westernized counterparts, and I have seen some cringe-ass anime <laughs> in my day. Like what? We don't talk about BNA in this chat. BNA. We don't talk about fucking brand new animal in this chat. <laughs> we talk about B stars. You are already. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> My personal approval of this is borderline. Oh, oh, can we just stop here? Aramis's best song. That's yes, best correct. Song. City of Tears. People ask me, how can you rest at night with all that shit going on in your head? Do you like listen to ASMR? No, I listen to Hollow Knight music. Particularly with rainforest ambiance in the background. <laughs> Sam nominated anime as the broad subject 
We'll go ahead and use the lucky Trump coin to determine which of our regular debaters will go first. Sarf will be heads, war will be tails. Flip. Tails, war cries, go first. Hey, so, uh, let's see here. I'm pretty any with anime, but, like, <clears throat> uh, personal approval, I'd agree with probably the same for me. I still haven't watched any animes. I wouldn't even, honestly, considering Castlevania as an anime, it's a bit on edge, considering, for one, it's not very much of an anime style, and it's also a Western production. Stole my it's Western not Western Japanese. Japanese uh, <laughs> so I'd argue it's not, but for the sake, since you counted it, I'll count it. Um, other than that, I haven't watched much at all. Like, I've seen the clips. Um, I've seen some really shitty animes. This may bother you, Sam. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it will, but Ninja or Me no, why did I say Ninjago? I Ninjago. <laughs> it's the same Ninjago. case. Naruto what? bad. Naruto bad. The, the new uh, Naruto is bad. That's correct. The old Naruto the, when I was a kid was fantastic. You can't change you my mean mind. Like Shippuden? You don't like Shippuden? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But um, I know, have you watched? Have yeah. you watched it all the way through? No. I couldn't. Uh, we'll see. There's I the problem. We should, I think we should also okay. mention the actual style of animation, of, as well as the show. Oh yeah, so, true. The style of animation itself. Um, what what are your opinions on that? Mixed. There are some that do do it very well. There are some that try the 3D route and go fantastic. I, I mentioned Beastars earlier. They did fantastic with the 3D piece. Um, Aramis, there are some I really, I really do recommend you finish Putin though. It gets okay. really good. I'll try add end. it to the list. Yeah. I have many things to experience. I know my I cousin is obsessed with that. Caleb is obsessed if, with yeah, that. Yeah, I would recommend I you pop out that out that Okay. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Work cries, have you anything else to add? Man, um, this isn't with all of them, yeah, but a majority of enemies, as you can see on the top in the top right of this slide, are way over sexualized. <laughs> Fact check <laughs> yes. true. Fact check true. <laughs> yeah. I mean I Definitely. might want to bring that on the rash. You know that only makes rational merit go up for me, though. <laughs> oh, now. man. Okay, Mr. Warcries, thank you for your well-endowed opinion. Sarfnik, have you anything oh, to add? I have a few no. comments. Castle right. <laughs> doesn't really fit the definition of anime. Not in the traditional sense, I'd true, but they took a lot yeah, from it. I could fairly count it here because the style looks about the same. Uh... Yeah, I, I have to admit, anime isn't my thing, as you know. War Cries yeah. tried to compare Ninja. He said Ninja. I know what you meant. <laughs> you you said it by mistake, say. man. I know what you meant by that. I, 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 was, saying, meant by I, that. I, I was I was the uh, actual original. I'm just that saying, that. no one saw there was this Ninjago YouTuber, Taren Fish. I think, I think that anime fans tend to be a little creepy. I think that should almost raise or down personal approval, in my Raise, opinion. raise but, personal approval. Yeah. yeah. You know I like him freaky. I mean, like... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Down personal, for simps. Okay, yeah. Does that mean the anime's not good? I think it's a great art. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. man. Dude, uh, uh, there's I, some I personally prefer... There's Western some weird animation. fucking... Uh, there's yeah, some Western. weird fucking anime fans. So, yeah. No, I have nothing against anime, but there's <sighs> a lot of weird fans. Like, my... Dropping. My Hero Academia fans? Oh, God. <sighs> my fucking I second cousin. <laughs> can't my fucking stand Academia My Hero. I can't. Room. Can't stand I... My Hero, can't stand Hunter X. Gamerai, too. Watch Ooh, that. damn, that's a hot take. Yeah, I know. Hunter? Okay. Like, my see, Hero is fair enough, but Hunter. Fucking ooh. Pan or Fishies in I thought I thought you would it's like Hunter. Let's start with our flat go over there. I'm just, I'm just talking about Thank you, there. Thank you, Mr. Surfnik. Okay, yeah. Mr. Sam, do you have, before we get into the profound discussion portion of this, do you have anything yeah. that you would like changed rating-wise here? I mean, I don't know. It's better than I expected, honestly. Okay. Have you ever tried watching any romance animes? I must ask. Uh, what would classify as a romance one? Like, it's not, like, shown in, no. like, they're fighting and all that. Mm. Not oh, exactly familiar no. with the taxon, but no, Shonen's Sh no. mostly my jam. Yeah, yeah, that's where more of the story is. I, I see find with the anime because you okay. were talking about how the story isn't always that good. Well, the I romance see, I animes, see, is there for the reason. Yeah, romance animes are the way to go if you want story. Okay, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. um, let's think here. Thank you, Mr. Sam. I will, I will do a little bit of a preface before I grant my final rating here. 
I don't know that there have been a lot of mid-tier ones that I would have seen, but if there are some amazing and some awful in a group, it tends to be a higher rating for me because I prioritize the better memories. Is this Crystal Peak War? Is that is that the soundtrack? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Excellent. Oh my god. The ear. Okay. Anyway, if there is a batch, a subject category like this, and there are a lot of really, really good ones and a lot of really, really bad ones, it will probably get a higher rating than if they're all mid-tier. Just because the way also I work. Also, one of the most famous mm -hmm. has to be Ed's Colossus and Anime. When Made in Abyss. Okay. Vinland Saga. I this is what is buoying this games. rating right now. Like Understand. Yeah. So I'm going to keep all of these the same. I might, might smack Philosophical down a little, but... Uh, no, we'll, we'll keep it like this. As a topic... Anime gets an A minus. You got to have a good eye for it. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, go, yeah, yeah, we'll give it an A minus. A minus is not. All right, nice. Warcry is nominate okay your first object. I think even a B minus would be a so, bad uh, This is gonna be um, way off of what uh, we've been going through here. This okay. Is the actual <laughs> relevant things. So yeah, I probably never actually. No, I have. Um, probably my second favorite movie series oh, or okay. trilogy of all time. Uh, you can guess the Sarama since you know Lodge is my first. And okay. What's extremely good? Do you want to take a guess? The Hobbit. Trilogy. The Hobbit. Oh. oh no. I mean, if you're gonna go movies, that's that's a hot take. But movie trilogy, not Hobbit, though. No. And as you said it was book or movie. Movie. Fucking. Lord it's Lord. not Hunger Games. No. <laughs> um. Games are fairly trilogy. okay. They're not amazing. Hmm. Movie trilogy. I don't know, War. What was that? Dark Knight trilogy, Aramis. I can't. I can't hear you. Holy fuck, Aramis! Dark Knight trilogy. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Uh, we should probably select individual movies for those. I would ask that you do. Okay, well, that, uh, just I do Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah. Okay. The Dark Knight. It's a good subject to index. I oh, like the call. Like, like Batman. Yeah. Oh, we sick. Have yeah, FYI, yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I have no idea what this is. <coughs> you know it's going to get a high rating. Yeah. I'm going to have some marshmallows. So, The Dark Knight, while, while War Cries is gathering an Haven't image Dark for Knight, it, sorry, guys, <laughs> go over the story of the Dark Knight. Story of Dark Knight is easily a keck. This is not debatable. <laughs> oh, We're doing yeah. Dream next. Oh, that's a great image. Everything burns. He's one of my favorite jokes. Fungal waste War Cry. It's not about... Rebelling against Everneth, it's about sending a message. He's my second actually... favorite Joker. Behind uh, Joaquin? Yeah, yeah. Joaquin. That's, yeah. that's a fair take. I would slightly disagree, but I love Joaquin's I, Joker too. So. I yeah, love, yeah, I'd say this one's actually better than Joaquin. No, I, I, love, based, I love Joaquin. It's, it's based on both parts. <coughs> the popular no, it's opinion. So, this actor is shit. Uh, what? you can go ahead and take that back. What? Knight's Tale. Knight no, okay, that was a, a random kick, but I don't think they. No, I don't think, we, I don't think you get what I meant. Actor is I'm not, not even given a preliminary rating. You can not, be silent, mortals. Not the actor. What the uh, no, hell? the actor himself, not his acting skills. What, what about is him? Dead. He's scum. The you... actor is dead. <laughs> Wait, is it the bad Joker? What is wrong? Is it the what? guy that sent like rats to his co workers and. No, <laughs> you're so dumb. You're Which mixing Joker all was that? Which Joker was that? Look, okay, silence, silence, silence. Oh I've not God. even given a fucking preliminary okay. rating Whatever on anything other than the story. Was the one who was silence! That's Jared Leto, you retired. Okay, Jared Leto, he's Joker, right? He's a Joker, right? <laughs> Sam, your Sir, commentary and laughter is most welcome. Those two can shut the fuck up. <laughs> or oh, or unmute you and Sarf when you've settled down. I can't believe Sarf yeah, I said that. I, we can go review my personal approval for Sard at the end of this because Sarfnik oh, is yes. indexed on here. I will reduce that to a Oh, cringe. yes. He's Characters. indexed on here? Oh, now yeah. I need to look at that. You can have yourself indexed as well. Nah, I went back to the very end. Oh, I see. Sarfnik. Characters are a keck. A B minus. <laughs> Characters are a keck. Both oh, the main yeah. and tag and pro tag are keck. That basically <coughs> nullifies most other things. Harvey keck. Um, 
I mean, e even the gal, you can you can probably say <laughs> S or Keck, even though her role was incredibly simple. Gordon Keck, excellently oh, acted. Yeah. Writing and acting, Keck. This is not debatable. Every single yeah, one of no. Golden and most of Batman's are too. Most of Bruce Bruce's. There's, there's, there's so many good quotes from that movie. Holy and not even that prompt acting. It was fantastic. You know, the, the improv scene where he blows up the hospital and fiddles around with it and they add it in post <laughs> Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. I know Keith went method actor for this and they say it really fucked him up. That That oh. is acting. That is acting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. He overshadows Batman. Batman is easily keck acting too here. Oh yeah, visuals. Visuals. I'd say it's great. Go with an S on this. That's fantastic, particularly on camera work, which we'll come into Star direction Star with. Um, the only synth things they really had to do here were the Batmobile, and even then, that was largely RS. So, yeah, real, real scroll with something as intense as the Batmobile takes a lot of effort and that contributes to the visuals greatly. Um, makeup was fantastic on Joker in particular and on Harvey's, the, the CG on 2F was fantastic. Direction. The way that a lot of these scenes scroll is just fantastic. One particular comes to mind, two actually. One, where Continula flashes back and forth between the two ships. And the second where Joker's hanging upside down, the camera slowly turns. Fantastic. Both. There are a bunch of really good scenes. The refinement of this show, I can already tell you, is going to be a keck. We'll give the direction an S. Oh, holy. Or, I need to rewatch this. First sound design, this is not debatable. This is a keck. The whole scene between Gordon and the kid and Harvey has the most chilling score, which alone would make it really, really good. The uniqueness is where the show is going to get hit, but it has a unique take on a lot of them. I know a lot of people wanted to see the different, more traditional DC comic Batman, and they went against that here. Yeah, or went with it rather here. We'll give the uniqueness an A. Uh, the refinement is obviously a catch. This was a great budget, great production crews. They took their time. I'm in his check. You just copied it. <laughs> yep. Goddamn right I did. Okay. <laughs> what Cry is nominated the Dark Knight? Sarfnik, go ahead. Sorry. They're I was not, eating not saying anything bad about the actor. First off, I'd like to apologize for the m miscommunication earlier. I confused Joker actors. <laughs> I have no issue with the actor of the Dark... The jo Joker actor from the Dark Knight. Okay? Heath Ledger, Beth. He died in 2008, January 22nd, 2008, to be specific. Oh, deep. Uh, right. So, now I will get into what I think. I have not seen this movie, so I think nothing. Move on to next person. Sam! <laughs> uh, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite Batman movies. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I haven't watched it in a while, but I, it's really good. You have any specific uh, rating? change it seems like we're all pretty much in agreement here yeah i mean it's it's just a great movie i don't know what to say <clears throat> it will not take much time for me to ascertain no yeah, i don't yeah, think I mean, it will you know, you know what i hide yeah war doesn't yeah, even have to stay but um <laughs> uh, can i just mention this hollow night music now Fucking oh, is it? Victim. yes aramis knows all of them that's how much he's listening <laughs> listen for them just fantastic. Obviously, that would get a peck. On, that All right. On well, that one went a lot quicker than the other ones. <laughs> okay. Well, I was nominated Dark Knight. who come back around to Sart here. Did you just delete that work? I press backspace to delete Bruh. it. Okay. Start so with some evidence. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Nominate your second piece of content. My next piece of content, I nominate... Oh, <clears throat> wait. Starfnick. I was fucking muted. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> For my next piece of content, I nominate Dream. Dream! The long way to Perfect. topic. 
and find yourself an image while I edit it. All right. Dreams relevance to the literal god. This man and I have nothing in common. <laughs> they at least moderately skilled PVPers. Ah. <sighs> The relevance to the literal god, simply because Sarfnik seems to want to simp for him as much as he does, is higher than normal. I'll give it a borderline. <laughs> I don't watch him. Sarfnik talks about it a lot. I get angry at him. <laughs> he seems to be all over the fucking airwaves. For what reason escapes me? Yeah. What is it, the accent? You know, I can do a better accent than that. Yeah, anyway. he does have a pretty sexy voice. I think I can rival him on the cell phone. It's because like, he's a hot <laughs> Minecraft YouTuber. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, ooh. Hot Minecraft YouTuber singles in your area. <laughs> Here's the thing, he hasn't even done a fucking face reveal. So, I think that way. Yeah. simps. Philosophical merit. F. It's damn. F. That's an F. F. Cheats the fucking speed runs and gets away with it on the index that easy dream. <laughs> yeah, I ran the fucking numbers. They didn't mess up any fucking mod calibrations. Don't. There is no holidays. There is no Queen of England, and Dream did not win the SMP. The the speed run. <laughs> <laughs> he, he made a video about that. Yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk about that after. I have I'm Meredith. Meredith. I'm thankful that he made an SMP where Technoblade enjoyed himself. Technoblade I'd simp for over Dream any day. Here's oh, the yeah. problem. His Dream server are not Technoblade server. Okay, <laughs> next up. Rational Merit. The guy can't beat Technoblade. Even I took hits off of Technoblade when I fought him. He beat me consistently by about two hearts, and that was that. How this guy managed to lose in such spectacular fashion in his own version of the game when they did that duel that I think Mr. Beast was sponsoring or something yeah. like that. Yeah, 100k. That he's better. Really he's good. He's really good. He's not, in, in that respect, he's not a literal god. He is perhaps a demigod. Rational Merit of Dream is borderline as a PvP, but I haven't discussed his other attributes as a YouTuber. He's a cringe tuber. Um, that's average. <laughs> average He's a though. cringe tuber. <laughs> tuber, but he's, it's averagely bad. Like there are oh far God. worse offenders. Like Mr. Beast is a far worse offender than Dream. Um, so is Keemstar and H three H three. All those types. At least this guy keeps yeah. somewhat wholesome on a somewhat regular basis. Uh, we'll downgrade the rational merit to a C. I respect good duelists. Anyone who can beat me in a fight is pretty much deserving of respect. But. It's just too much to dislike about the other pieces of his rationale. The meme potential of Dream is pretty good. I, I have to be honest, Technoblade's the better meme lord, and he is pretty much in direct <laughs> competition with Dream. Perhaps Technoblade just mm. came into the industry at a wrong place, wrong time. I understand. That's the way business goes, man. Hey, man, we're still waiting for the Dream versus Techno manhunt. The meme potential of Dream. My personal <laughs> approval of Dream is obviously incredibly low. <laughs> um, he's made some based and fun takes sometimes he's played with toast and he's not that much of a dick he's no Hasanabi but I don't like him <clears throat> you have the personal approval of Dream of D Surf Nick you nominated Dream War Cries give us some hot takes oh it's about to go I'm down I suppose a pause is in order. Okay, Sam's back. Okay, Sam is, okay, back. There, Sam is back. So, um, Aramis hasn't watched the response. I've watched only like half of it because I was kind of busy at the time. So, there are a few things that bother me particularly about it. Not with the math. The math is fine. He didn't even point out anything wrong in the math, if I'm correct. It was all issues with the actual, or what they decided to calculate, not how they calculated it. So, um, he, they only took into account the final six videos. Um, before that, he had fairly average luck, if not below average, I think. Um, so, this is probably pretty obvious why they do that. It was made a huge deal in the video. Because he doesn't start by hacking. He doesn't begin by hacking. Ha! Huh. I wonder. He's al also, later in the video, he accuses um, GeoSquare of multiple things. Being, one of such being the... Or one of such being the fact that GeoSquare 
did not mention the logs or anything related to the logs, which said he didn't. GeoSquare mentioned there are plenty of things that um, said he didn't hack it, or he didn't hack, but most of those were easily manipulable. Or yes, manipulable. Um, yeah. mo some of those being, for example, Fabric saying there were none in the logs. The logs can be edited after the fact. Um, that was the main one they made a big deal of. Like that's the easiest thing to what? You can change it, so you can change it. You legit. Mr. Work, guys, uh, you had uh, advice as to what letters should be changed. Oh, I don't have. I just wanted to uh, say this before Sarah gets into it. Oh, and Sam. Sam. I, I, that was only like the first half of the video, then I skipped it. Sam, what you got to say? All right. So um, uh, I personally do like his videos. I'm not like fucking crazy about him like Sarfnik is. It, it, all right, I don't mind it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just I just enjoy his manhunt videos. Other than that, like the whole like scandal thing with him cheating or whatever i don't fucking know i don't i don't no. really know i didn't i only had his side of it i didn't actually watch the other video that's I mean, fair i don't know I I for that sard make the defense sarf nick may need a lot of time because there's a lot to go over in this one so let's start off uh with a two minutes shit. yep i i admit dream the, the evidence goes against him. He most likely cheated. I do not believe that GeoSquare's video is 100% true. But I, I, I do believe that his video isn't 100% true. But whatever. Uh, move on from the cheating. He, he cheated because he wanted better better loot. It doesn't actually downgrade his skill. But again, once a cheater, always a cheater. Uh, I admire his, his content is magnificent. I think his content is A tier, at least. Manhunts are mm. extremely entertaining, and even his appearances in Toast videos, he's super big brain. He's like the only person who comes close to Toast in brain size, I'd say. Uh, Dream SMP, I mean, Dream SMP is a lot of cringe, but I actually, at first I liked, I first I just watched it ironically, but now I watch it unironically. There's a lot of good lore that's birthed from it. I think it's decent. I mean, it's mostly run by other people, not Dream, but still. Like, yeah, I'd Technoblade like to say... sheltering I, Tommy okay. in it. Technoblade <laughs> being a Reganator. To be fair, that's all about Technoblade. Can I say something? I like it. I like it. it. SMP. Two minutes. Um, I'm just, I just gotta say, that entire SCP is carried by Technoblade. Yeah, Tech -tech no. Tech yeah, Dream, Dream's literally yeah, I, don't, I don't think you can give Dream's the worst enough. character in the SMP by far. Uh, yes. honestly, like, I'd say Ghostbird is worse. No, of the main no. people, he's so boring. He literally does nothing. No, all he it. does is just wear netherite oh. armor and approach Tommy and always threaten him to give him shit. <laughs> no, what he but does. even like before, he didn't actually do much with the plot. He was just hey, kind of be villains. I mean, hey, I mean, Jay Schlatt is probably honestly one of the best characters in that lore. Yeah, I think Jay Schlatt doesn't make Dream any better for it. Yeah, yeah. No. But I'd say the fact that he runs the S SMP is worthy of points. If anything, he it's runs worthy one of, being... of the best no. SMPs aside from Hermitcraft, in my opinion. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. He's a literal yeah. god. I think uh, that's something I disagree with you. Do you have any, any predictions on what letters he would like to read? All right. Uh, well, what would his his? Okay, so I said his his videos are A tier. What would that possibly release? Or Russian Marathon. Okay, maybe raise. Actually, no. I feel like a C is good for him. I don't think, I, I guess, if anything, I'd raise his meme potential. He is pretty memeable, not gonna lie. With his cobblestone crafting table. Sam, you may remember that. That was, okay. That was I feel like you're grasping at straws his here. numerous clutches. Sorry, Nick, I feel like, like you're horse, grasping at Okay, wait, wait, and then again. With his numerous clutches, <laughs> like, the horse clutch, He is not very memeable. Clutch, there was the that one clutch, thing yeah. that he messed up he in that. Like, there's a difference. Yeah, like, I, I but, don't... I don't I mean, think he's me. very memeable. Yeah, I feel like we have. I think we have. <laughs> I feel like you're grasping at straws there. Thank you, Mr. Sarfnik. Oh, Dream Sam. gets a C minus. Oh yeah, Sam didn't have anything to say, did he? Sarfnik nominated Dream. The wheel comes back around to you, Master Sam. Alrighty. Hmm. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Technoblade. Technoblade, a very fitting follow-up. Ah, uh, straight off my Yeah. Guess. Please acquire your image. Mm-hmm, of course. 
Sam has nominated Technoblade. Let's get into the preliminaries. The relevance to the literal god is going to be slightly higher than Dreams. He's been around longer. I've actually fought him. I don't follow him terribly closely, but for, for Skyblock in particular, he was very relevant, is very relevant, both to me and the community, particularly in Hypixel. Philosophical merit of Technoblade is suspect. However, I trust that there is a grand operating mechanism behind all of this that is fantastic. His ethics when it comes to YouTube videos cannot be questioned. He is a little Machiavellian, which I know might be a turnoff for wars, but uh, I use an advanced technique called lying, and I gained this true understanding of deception and Machiavellian tactics from Technoblade. Crazy as it may seem. I give the philosophical merit of Technoblade a B. The rational merit of Technoblade. There are a few things that the males of our species are engineered to do. We are bred to fight and to farm or to hunt if, if you're going real esoteric. But when it comes to fighting, farming, and getting puss, you know Technoblade is kept here at all of these. <laughs> you putting all your... <laughs> I did a war cry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> As Technoblade's favorite quote is, blood for the blood god. Correct. Well, no, his no. favorite quote is Technoblade never dies. Well, I mean, Correct. Okay, true. Technoblade never dies. Wait, what? War. War. <laughs> you deleted the fucking document. Okay. I, I press it back that. for other things, and it for some reason goes to Google Docs. Sure. Let, me, let me explain the rational merit of Technoblade. Any man who can well, stand one on one with anyone. Would immediately merit at least an Earth, Why are you changing? If the someone can do that while farming the quanta of potatoes that he did, they are a literal god. Technoblade, you bow to no one, my friend. I salute you, one legend to another. The mean potential of Technoblade is an S. S. Yes, I knew it. Reason being is because well, he's he's basically dream, but better in every respect in this regard. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nick is abusing power. Okay, I have to, actually, I'll, I'll save it for my part. He's better at, like, my personal points. approval of Technoblade. Anyone who beats me gets personal approval of Keck. I wish to experience and index everything humanity <coughs> has to offer, but rarely can humanity offer me one thing that I desire so deeply a competitor. Most wise Technoblade. I tip my hat to you. Sam, you nominated Technoblade. I'll flip mm -hmm. for Sarf and War. Sarf is heads, War is tails. Please heads, Sarfnik, sound All right. off. <laughs> Alright, there's a lot of positive things I have to say about Technoblade. I'm not sure what to raise, but I must say, first off, his dedication to the grind. He was challenged on Skyblock in, I think, starting like some point in late 2019. By yeah, the Great Potato Kid, War. The Great Potato War. And he spent like seven months grinding potatoes, barely uploading on his channel. He was Just the challenger, grind. not the challenger. He dropped out of he dropped out of school the previous summer. He was <laughs> but before. But now that that leads me to my next thing. Before he was an gamer. English major and he constantly references people like I think he references I, I forget his name. Uh, he used this in Dream SMP to represent to, to basically criticize oh. Tommy and he referenced this hero who Theseus. was oh, Theseus. Theseus. Yeah, Theseus. He re he referenced this hero Theseus, Theseus. Sure. who was uh, a hero but he got banished basically. Greco, and, yeah. Okay. And he Would you like that, me and to say thought, it? Cause I, I, I actually oh, I remember what it is. So he said this while he spawned two withers to destroy Lamanberg on Dream SP. I consider that pretty legendary, if I don't say so myself. Using uh, Greek parables as you destroy a town by summoning two gigantic undead monsters. And wait, no, there's more. He named what a lad. He used a name tag to name one of them subscribe to Technoblade. <laughs> Good. And then he proceeded to kill like five people constantly. <laughs> with, it, it, he used a crossbow with like five. fireworks. Because if you use a crossbow with fireworks, it like, kills people instantly. Thank you, Mr. Sarfnik. Wait, no, 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 no. I didn't say I was done yet. Thank you, Mr. Sarfnik. Your time is expended. To... Wait, do you wait, have, wait, wait, wait. Do you have any... You agreed to these debate rules. Do you have any suggestions as to what letter should be changed? I would have mentioned him. See. I recommend that his philosophical merit, just for that Theseus shit, goes up to an A or S for sure. Oh, man. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm with it. Yeah. GG. Okay. Hey. War cries. Go ahead. He doesn't know much about techno um, mm -hmm. I was going to say that I have not no issues, but uh, Sarfnik just mentioned something okay. that uh, is an issue. MCC, okay. his, uh, his. I um, have a rebuttal once. I'll let you speak first. That's fine. Go ahead, War. Yeah, just yeah, MCC, his, per his participation and liking of it. Does he still like it? I haven't picked, kept up with that. Uh, he has not. He has. He chose to opt. He opted out of the last two MCCs. Okay. You well, have to get the chance to do that. You have to. Because he was too good. Because he gets so much wins. That's exactly. I mean. You okay. at least do that for the optics at first. Like I can understand where he's coming from there. Anything else, War? Um, no, I don't think that's enough to raise it or lower it. I just would like to mention MCC. It's a good mention, Sam. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I mean pretty good to me i like technoblade he's one of my favorite minecraft youtubers at the moment and um uh, yeah he's really cool no further objection sarf nick i know you had a rebuttal to this begin my rebuttal was the fact that he opted out of the last two mccs okay but no further objection hey, hey, hey. great technoblade as an s plus Whoa! <laughs> the beat dropping too. Very close, Master Technoblade. Very close. <laughs> you may yet ascend to Kekhood. I fully expect to see the day when Technoblade does just that. All right. War Cries, nominate your second subject of the night. Oh, I'm going to go over these. He has a list. We didn't even yeah, mention MC Mondays too, bad. Good luck. This is interesting. We'll do Canada. Canada. Ooh. Okay. Robert's a little guy. War Christ has nominated the okay. country of Canada. <laughs> I have very uh, straddling opinions about the country of Canada. Not all of them are hot takes, I to be fair, but the, let's go through this piece by piece, ball. shall we? Robert the relevance to the literal God of Canada. It's a neighboring country. There are a few philosophical and political figures of note. I know a bit about their policy. I admire a lot of their land. I know some of the history of Canada, and I have a personal historical connection, if you know the saga of the literal god, which only a very few do, <clears throat> to Canadian history. Let's say the relevance to the literal god is borderline. Okay. Philosophical merit of Canada. Hmm. Leaves a bit to be desired, especially in present day. Let's see here. <laughs> Philosophical merit of Canada because they repress teachers so badly will take a big hit. <laughs> Philosophical merit because they followed basically as opposed to the U.S. Constitution style of negative rights. Uh, they went with the sort of affirmative rights that are mirrored in the French Declaration of the Rights of Man. Ah, I can't do it, man. It's sucky. Dwayne just said so fucking bad at the perfect time there. <laughs> Aside from that, I do like the hunter-trapper lifestyle of those in Canada. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. Uh, I'm aware of several tech industries that have their grounding in Canada. For rational merit, they have a very good tar sand industry, albeit rather inefficient compared to the U.S. oil refinery industry. Student of energy engineering knows much. Let's think here. The rational merit currently of Canada, because they're basically undergoing a smaller version of what the U.S. did with quasi-socialism, is going to be shit. But Canadians, historically, I believe, had greater average income than U.S., which is not something many can boast. Our growth rates were steady. Their performance in the war in wars was rather laudable for their size. I mean, they weren't any powerhouse. But that doesn't mean they should be discounted either. There are some pretty good interactions with them and the Germans in nautical skirmishes in World War II that they uh, oh. helped us out with a lot. They're right, they're right up there with Australia and influential allies when it comes to that sort of thing. They just can't post the numbers. Rational merit of Canada. That's, that's sort of the people and their systems. What about the nature? I like Tundra. So the rational merit of Canada will get a boost because I have a strong affinity for the nature type there. 
a Lorax moment? And also, I believe this is defunct now, the Articles of Confederation of the U.S. stated that if Canada wished to merge with us, they would actually be forced to accept. The U.S. would. So that, that makes me pretty friendly towards Canada. I know that. I've known some Can It's probably defunct at this point. They're, the Articles of Confederation didn't really have any meaning even then, and they certainly don't now, but <laughs> whatever. The mean potential of Canada is really good. Yeah. It's not the best. <laughs> but the Canadians do some wacky shit sometimes. And, and, and their, their taxon is easily the best. The A thing, that that, that sort of stereotype. A hey, yeah. Uh, war, war's pronunciation of sorry is fantastic. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> oh, the mean potential of Canada, solid A. Oh, you know what? Justin about- Trudeau might amp that to an S. We like to say people kind here. <laughs> uh, we like to say people kind. Yes, small teenage girl that rules your country is, uh, <laughs> Gonna lower my personal approval quite the a bit. Small teenage girl. You think I'm wrong? <laughs> personal approval of Canada is split between their political class and ideology, their people and their nature, all of which pull different ways. Just for that reason, it's gonna average out to somewhere like a high C ish. It's a pretty good country. They've got a lot of freedoms compared to, well, I guess if you're to compare them to like fucking China, sure, why not? <laughs> Comparison. Okay. I believe War Cries nominated Canada. Sarfnik, what do you have to say? All right, so I'm working at my input on Canada. It hailed War Cries, which was a gift indeed. True. Before then, Canada had little relevance to the. Secondary literal god. Uh, or the literal I've god. Admit, I've only been there once, so that might be a sin. But when I was there, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> very nice place. Yeah. Very good Applebee's. I loved it. Mm, compelling case. Niagara Falls was like a misty, heavenly place. And I, I One might even the, say Empyrean. The Lorax would love the woodland there. True. Especially Kaya up biome. to the north. It serves as the second biggest country. Now into the bad shit. Justin Tradu. True. My god. How do you allow this <laughs> man? Tradu. <laughs> back, in, back in 2018, me and Aramis were meaning about his little girl. Stop. Stop. I don't care we if you say people Justin kind. Trudeau. Say Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau. 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 I care Trudeau. not to pronounce him correctly. Like Nova Scotia. I will. <laughs> Canada oh, is, God. in the end, it's America, but North and Libtard. There True. you go. Granted, America's becoming pretty Libtard right Hopefully now. Hopefully, they don't lead to the, <laughs> to the socialism side, but they might soon. Yes, Human my kind. apprentice. We like to call okay. people kind. Humankind. Uh, Humankind is a word. People kind is not. Also, I believe hmm. from I've heard a lot of stories about Canada from war lore. I won't mention yep. it here, but True. from what I've heard, it's a bad roving place. street <laughs> gangs in the foreign places of yes. Ontario. <laughs> no, that is because I live in one of the worst cities in Canada. To be fair, in terms of you're talking to me living in Chicago. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but even, even so, I, I think Sarf's got you there. <laughs> In terms yes. of crime, it's still, you know. Great, probably, because yeah. nobody lives there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to see anything change, Sarf? Mm. Me... No. Okay. <laughs> Sam! Alrighty. You have some um... stuff to sound off on, I'm sure. Oh god, I mean, I don't know, man. Um, honestly, I mean, it's better than I thought. <laughs> it really is. Deja vu moment here, I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we don't we don't kill each other in as much as the U.S. does, so that's a pretty good thing. Fair. What? <laughs> Our most, our most fatal shooting. Dare was I forget to mention assault weapons? <laughs> yeah, yep. The two A shit is a good point, oh, God, even though it's yeah. out of your time, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, honestly, no, I don't really have anything to critique here. Okay. We'll go ahead and give an overall rating. Okay. 
I want to get back to marshmallows, man. Justin Trudeau. All my homies hate Justin Trudeau. Correct. <laughs> Wait, did we just skip War Cries? No. Oh, yeah, he gets a rebuttal. This war. Uh, you oh. think I have a rebuttal? It's a bad America good. Okay. I'm citizen of the US. I turn okay. 18. Fuck you. Okay. Let's okay, think here. Feelings. That's a good choice, War. Got a couple America's B's, got a couple good. C's. Oh, let's take a look here. Philosophical merit, mean potential, rational man. I mean, the country at its oh, core is actually agree. better than a lot of the ones in the world. Like and this is a relativistic grading scale, so we'll, we'll give it a B minus. That's pre that's pretty good, I'd say. With the with the U.S. being like mid A, and the Netherlands and some shit being like high S. I don't know if there's any country that I would consider keck right now in the world. Maybe Switzerland. <laughs> Maybe. Switzerland is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I don't know. Okay. That's Canada for you. That is six topics. That is the extent of what a normal Eisen Index would be lengthwise. Do we want to go for one more full round through you three? Is everyone uh, yeah, still awake? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sarfnik. Okay. I'm going to your third and final subject oh, for the night. I need to think of. I'm split between the United States of America and President Donald J. Trump. What do the other <coughs> participants think would be a better? I'll go with I, like, I feel like Trump would just be kind of boring. I mean, we discuss it constantly. Everyone's exactly. bored of politics now. Like, it's in the Overton <laughs> cycle. Every fucking news article is about him, even yeah. though he's not going to be the president in a couple months. <laughs> Shall we go oh, with man. the United States of America? I mean, it's fitting because we just did Canada, or you could take it in a completely different direction. It's up to you, Sarf. Okay, well, maybe we go for that other direction. How do we feel about disguised toast? If, if we're gonna if we're gonna or, review a shit ton of YouTubers, we've already done two of them tonight. That's up to you. I mean, you I said mean, go in a different direction. Oh. Well, it's kind of along the I same direction before. Yeah, right? it's pretty it's much the same. It's, it's Sam experience with um, Disguised Toast. Yes, yeah, I watch all of his there. videos. Yeah. I love his videos. What do you so good. I know who he is. The literal god is indifferent. Make your final I choice. Mean, okay, well, what if we go... No, 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 I'm saving this for another time. All right, uh, let's go with... Let's go with the United States of America. The U.S. All right. The 50 nifty. I live here. I have studied this place. I have experienced the vast majority of all the sensations I have to be available to index in the United States and from the lens of someone who grew up in the United States, regardless of how good I might be at being super objective or just super sanguine. Kind of has to be. be a cack, to be honest. The U.S. Kinda is indubitably relevant to me. Philosophical merit of the U.S. Initially, would have instantly gotten a kick. No taxation without representation seems a little bit based coming from our good postmodernistic view of things. But I don't like a sizable landmass like this being ruled by an island. It's, uh, it's irrational, and therefore the philosophical merit of the Founding Fathers, when it comes to declaring the U.S., would have been a kick. However... That is hardly representative of everything going on in the U.S. and ha that has since. We've seen a dramatic uptick in Marxism. We've seen a dramatic uptick in political and corporate corruption. Even though this this is coming from a free market person, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the Milton like Friedman right school of thought, for fuck's sake. You know it's bad when the commie... You know it's bad when fucking Hassan, Piker, and Shank Uyghur, and the libertarians like Ben Shapiro and myself agree that something is wrong. You know it's awful when you have the libertarian free market types and the communists united against the political class. <laughs> Where did we go so wrong? I don't. I don't know, Dwayne. I don't know. <laughs> I can oh, hear him talking. Population, you know, Let's see here. Choice, why. Dwayne, Dwayne said, "What <laughs> the fuck had did we really go? Cool. Where the fuck did we go wrong?" Did Dwayne say? At least Dwayne Fine Second Amendment is a very strong philosophical booster. Freedom of speech is a very strong philosophical booster. Philosophical merit is still going to be really good. Rational merit of the United States 
is pretty goddamn unquestionable. If it's bad, we lead in it. If it's good, <laughs> we lead in it. The point of this is the United States leads in everything. Hoorah! <laughs> Actually, there is COVID one good thing that we really lead in that, that isn't a bad thing. Cancer survival rates. But that's about the only good medical stat that we have right now. I didn't but, know that. That's cool. Cancer survival rates. Um, everything else we fucking suck Road at. health, we lead in it. <laughs> Largely because we let China make it for us because Democrats threw down a bunch. Of, yeah, I can get Bombers. into that loop a lot. Yeah, Democrats bad. Republicans good. Yay. No, I hate them all. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kidding. I hate them all. We have a lot of revolution. I fucking hate French. Maybe I should say it in German. It might sound more intimidating. Oh, no. Anyway, rational merit of the U.S. Strongest army without having the strongest population. Strongest in a bunch of shit. Strongest in home gun ownership, which is a metric that I use for goodness. Can you guess why I'm a Republican now? What is this? Um, <laughs> rational merit of the U.S. I is very know, good. Bro. Even with all the poison and leeching that we have going on on the corporate and the political side, we're still kicking ass. Mean potential of the U.S. Does this even... <laughs> America! <laughs> laps in American... The fact that we get to say, silence European, every time someone European posts a meme we don't like. That is testament to the meme potential <laughs> of I'm the American. I'm glad I'm not American. I'm just technoblazing response. I'm Europe. glad you're not American. Correct. Fact check true. We don't need fucking anyone. <sighs> All Personal like approval that. of the yeah, US. And saw me like that, I'm literally crying right now. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Cultural appropriation. I feel like war cries. Yeah. Personal approval of the United States of America. Overarching is really, really good. I, I am a believer in American exceptionalism, as you might be able to tell, which isn't to say we don't have our problems. Yeah, I know, based as fuck opinion for once. Oh well. Civil War II electric boogaloo, let's get it on. But until that happens, <laughs> I give the personal approval of this country an A. The only reason it's not higher is because uh, I, I imagine a totalitarian fortified city-state run by me would be better. Um, okay. Good. Sarfnik, you nominated the U.S. of A. War cries. Oh, let's see here. Uh, okay, I don't really have anything to dispute here, but politically I have a question related to the U.S. and parties. Sure. Um, if a MAGA party yep. were to be made, would you still go Republican or MAGA? I would go yeah. MAGA, but it would be the death of both parties and the socialists would take over the country. Yep. Now, if the MAGA party cannibalizes the Republican party, I'd be fine. But we can't have what happened between Teddy Roosevelt and Taft again. Yeah, exactly. Teddy Roosevelt had the right idea, and he fucking gutted his own party because he stuck another, by it. Another thing, I, I haven't researched this greatly, but I've done some research into it, and I'm assuming you have as well. Um, voting systems. Yes. In the US. I'm not a fan. You don't like the current voting system? <sighs> I don't like that they think they can tack things onto it without putting extra effort. That would obviously be referencing the COVID BS. What, what, um, what voting system do you prefer? I do prefer the Constitutional Republic like we have, but mm -hmm. I, I would obviously prefer... The, the Constitutional Republic works best when you devolve power to very, very local things. Mm -hmm. And nobody cares about the local. The fact that everyone cares more about the president than the local is a sign that something is wrong. The president shouldn't matter that much. The reason that so much hatred and rage is surfacing over one person is is an error of the system, in my view. So, go on. It's about all I have to say. Uh, I agree for the most part, yeah. Okay. Sarfnik nominated this. Let's get Sam's take. Alrighty. I don't really have many opinions about the U.S. Fair. I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, they're below us, you know? They... they they kill each other a lot. That's that's a thing. <laughs> Don't judge it till you try it. <laughs> I made a meme for this. Ah, one. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, 
yeah, it's the U.S., you know, greatest country in the world or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah. so Sarf Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a lot to say. I admire Sarfnik. our country for being braver than any other country. Our size is magnificent, third largest in the world, right? I don't know. Japan was pretty fucking brave when they tried pulling shit at Pearl Harbor. Yeah, and we were pretty fucking brave and we destroyed them. Correct. Also, how the rest of the world, <laughs> like, no one saw Canada and Europe just constantly re at the US like oh my Rack god Donald Trump okay, is a I just want to say I just want to say I just want to say you and you said again. a country yeah. and then a continent just There you go Well <laughs> I, I was I was comparing Europeans as a group Nobody said we're the Canada greatest at being North great America. at geography And <laughs> man how much people always complain like oh, oh my god there's there, you know, there's more like for Americans for not knowing much about other countries. Oh not, man! There's not we don't ha we don't have to know much because we are like multiple. How countries many bombs do we need so. to beat you up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should learn that instead of the name of your capital. We yeah. only need to know the location what of your else capitals. What I gonna say? Hey, oh yeah, or, just wait, how wait, wait, wait. Sorry, other countries capital? are compared to the United what's States. What's the capital like, of Canada? Germany. Capital of Canada, Ottawa. Uh, so, just how Sorry, much they complain job. like <laughs> about how we have freedom of speech. They complain about how we have freedom of speech. They complain about our gun laws, but in the end, we do better than them, and that's all that matters. Freedom works, unless you allow freedom to eat itself. Good you know words. what's funny? And hmm. The most deadly um, uh, um, mass shooting in Canada the dude that did it, he got his guns from the U.S. Oh, <laughs> well, at least he knew his good supplier. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get that high quality shit. Get that CZ up in there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Holy. Okay. Oh, man. Nothing else. Guys. I don't uh, have anything else to say. <laughs> this is an S minus tier country. Would have been a kick. But uh, a couple things went awry. Went to Mm-hmm. Okay, that was Sarfnik's final topic of the night. Same. Sam, you're up. Nominate your final topic oh, and make God. it count. Something profound yeah. or mimetic, dude. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Hoping someone oh, God. Met, like Sam. Work has to do. Work has to do. Uh. I don't, I'm really thinking, man. I don't you know. You can also defer Choose the next yourself. one to War Cries. You have him uh, do his first if you prefer. Yeah, let War do his first. I got Sam has elected it. to defer War Cries, nominate your third and final topic for the night. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, huh? Sam? Yeah? Uh, I was going to do this at the, at the finale, but I don't know if you'd want to do it. How do you what? feel about nominating yourself as the final one? Sure. Okay, well then, in that case, I will do a lot. Lord of the Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings as a series? As a series, yes. Uh, books or movies? Yeah, that's important. I'm going to say movies just because everyone here has seen the movies. I'm assuming not. All right, yeah. Or okay. I will be one counting, of them. We will be counting the, the Hobbit, extended not, editions like, as part of this. I have Lord of the Rings. I have some right now. I really need Go ahead and get yourself an image for this. Go over the story. The lines of the story are simple, and you know what? Most people today, if they didn't know the order in which they were released, would take <laughs> every other high fantasy novella type thing and cast it against Lord of the Rings and say, oh, this is unoriginal as fuck. <laughs> they forget that a Lord of the Rings was the one to do this shit. Well, background. They forget that the Lord of the Rings was the one who made the archetype. The D&D types, Faerun, Inheritance, all the Harry Potter high fantasy bullshit, that all stems partly from Lord of the Rings. Particularly in, in areas of pop culture. Wow, for instance. Azeroth gets so much from Lord Dark of the Rings from Middle Earth. Earth. The story of Lord of the Rings would get knocked for uniqueness if it weren't the one that created the stereotype. And the story is pretty good. The traditional hero journey with a couple of split-offs. story is really good. Could use a little bit of romance. <laughs> and don't, don't at me about Arwen. Fuck off. Okay. Character. <laughs> what? <laughs> Character is pretty good. Mm. 
Are we are we waiting? Are, are we waiting? Is Sarfnik AFK? I say we wait. I'm gonna go take a quick piss break, like literally 30 seconds. I think. Oh. Sorry, I'm open your back. <clears throat> I'm making an epic Gmod base. Oops. Is that would make you my little pup? <laughs> Dude, some of the shit that happens on the on the on Gmod is so fucking dumb. <laughs> you don't got me. <laughs> like, did you watch the clip I sent you? I did. Of... <laughs> Sasuke. <laughs> no, registered sex offender. <laughs> or I also have a clip of this dude coming up to me and my friend, gunning my friend down, and then turning like. 90 degrees to shoot okay, me but... and gun me down What's and then work? in the admin sit you know what he says he says misclick in the admin sit <laughs> he ended up getting banned for racism later <laughs> <laughs> that's a so... lot of detail <laughs> <laughs> ard afk retard not chum no appreciation of art. Sarfax return from AFK. Yeah. Star Looter, as in the movies, is S. The characters in the movies. K. Liking this so far. Okay. So Vigo Mortensen, John Reese Davies, and Orlando Bloom make one of the best trios that I think I've ever seen on screen. The Legolas Gimli Aragorn trio is fantastic. Now, you add in some one-offs, including one of the villains, Saruman, was fantastically done. The character alone is great, but holy shit, did Christopher Lee knock it out of the park. Now, the Hobbits, I could, I could do without Elijah Wood, did really well, in my opinion. Sean Astin did fine. All the characters are really, really good. And just as, as baseline characters, as written in the books... There are a couple that could have used a little bit of work in the books, but as far as the cinematic transition went, they did perfectly. Maybe could have used a little bit more polish on Faramir. Okay, writing and acting. You know what's bad when I can recite the script? <laughs> too good, too good. There are too many just well-placed scenes and well-placed dialogues that are so referenceable. Like if they had a meme potential on this, Lothar memes would be kept here because they're so goddamn memorable. When does not simply yeah, X'd. That meme has been around for a decade at this point. More, actually. One does not simply take the ring into Mordor. <laughs> you, have, you have my sword, my bow, my axe, that whole thing. Gandalf, all of fucking Gandalf's monologuing. Oh, yeah. Is the is the uh, passing of the elves extended only war? Do you know? I don't think so. I haven't seen. I, I actually I don't even think I've ever seen theatrical properly. Me neither. Actually, I've only seen extended uh, for you know on the day of my birth. Well, not day of my birth. Well, it was my birthday, first birthday. But well, whatever. Day of my birth. Visuals. For the time. <coughs> At me. The sets that they used in New Zealand and the budget that was implied because of this, or incurred because of this, rather, shows they were really into it. New Zealand is a fantastic uh, film location. My cousin researched all of the details to this and to this day uses it as a sort of metric to gauge other films upon that have to have uh, open Ooh. action sequences. Very nicely done. The synth animations, I believe, won an award for... Two Towers won an award for Smeagol. Um, best animated character. And, yep, that fact check, true. Andy Circus performs well as him as well. I uh, should have mentioned that when we were doing characters. Direction. It's really good, the way they managed to cut between all of the major parties, particularly in Two Towers and Return of the King. Good. 
Uh, I don't remember a ton of the sequences as in camera shots. One in particular, the duel between Saruman and Gandalf. <laughs> I know wow. even my parents nerded out at that. It was fantastic, particularly how it ends. Action will be S. Source no design is a non-debatable K. Howard Shore, absolute madman. Arguably best composer of our time. And before. Uniqueness, again, for its time, high fantasy looked nothing like this. Closest thing you had was Celtic folklore. Rendered onto the big screen, they did pretty damn well, particularly with the elves. Nice little world <coughs> details like the architecture in Rivendell or the way that Legolas is able to walk atop the snow. Just make it feel whole. And the refinement for its time, again, was exceptionally crisp. They only did wide, thin shots first. Lord of the Rings was one of the first to use 4K type stuff with the blue screen. They carried that methodology over to Hobbit and it worked pretty well with modern graphics. So find it really really good i'll even give it so far as a we'll go with an s war cries you nominated the lord of the rings movies How about it, probably zarf nick lord of the rings wow uh when i watched it it was just so much confusion but i don't think that really can go against it I think I had a much better viewing experience with the hobbit so yeah actually su surprise here i actually rate, rate the hobbit higher my personal thing. What? But, <laughs> by the way, I, Elijah Wood. <laughs> actually, I can't. Like, <clears throat> Kick excuse me. Sorry, sorry, Did I just ahead. get kicked by another uh, debater? Uh, did ahead, did sorry, I just get assaulted ahead. by a debater? Elijah Wood as, not, not Sam, it was Frodo. Yeah. Bro. Oh. Frodo, very good. He's the, he's the, I, I, he's the only person I remember based on who they're. Oh, in. He's man. the only person I know who acted. I don't know the names of the other guys. Oh, I know uh, Christopher Lee, obviously. I guess. R.I.P. Oh. Yeah, I think the most more. memorable yeah. performance is from him or Gandalf and that one chick that appeared in like the woods and shit. I I love the journey. There was a lot of things that could have been fleshed out, but the goddamn ending, man. That's honestly one of the best endings I've ever seen in the media, if not the best ending I've seen to any popular franchise. Yep, it's going to be an easy S plus for me. That's okay. it, all I can say. Okay. Same. Alrighty. Um, I mean, yeah, I like the movie. Um, uh, I wasn't like a huge, huge fan, but it was a good, good movie. It's not really my style, but you know, I can't say that they're not good movies just because it's not fair my enough. favorite. Uh, honestly, I think everything you said is fair about it. Um, uh, how I haven't watched it in years, but I don't know, man. Work prize. Any final <laughs> comments? Okay, so. What, more crimes? So, direction. One thing, or I guess two things, depending on how you want to consider it. The battle of Helm's Deep. The two charging fiends. Gandalf charging down the mountain. Fourth Eerling, or Eerlingus. I just said that wrong. I, I'm retarded. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, there you go. Those two scenes, I think, should actually bring it to a K. Actually, it was going to amp direction to a K anyway, and it wasn't because of what you mentioned, even though those are good cases. I was going to mention the sequence in Moria, where it tracks their motion, and when Frodo is basically trying to evade the uh, the cave troll. Both of those are excellently directed scenes. There are a couple other ones like that. Um, Merry and Pippin being with Treebeard are all excellently directed scenes. Siege at Isengard is really nice. I was already thinking of amp in direction to a K. I would also like to discuss... Uh, sure, Sam is confused <laughs> Why is The Hobbit better than Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh -oh. Personally, I enjoy the journey <laughs> with, uh, with the whole beginning off, with the dwarves having the fucking feast in, the, in Bilbo's house, and then the mystery of the ring. I think it was really good build-up for Lord of the Rings, even though technically it's a prequel. Hey, that's fair. 
and I feel like it was sure. less yeah, confusing. But... It was kind of like a good introduction to the world of the. Okay, but sorry. Must I ask how much does the amount of filler not bother you? No. <laughs> I love the filler with like that dude it's with the, world. the animal, the animal guy. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's I mean, plenty of good, good world, world building, building, not a better movie. And like, I liked how they visited the elves or whatever. <laughs> I forget if they're the dark elves or the regular elves. And the ring and God, like I, I honestly enjoy that type of stuff. And while when I, when I was watching Lord of the Rings, I was just confused. So it was going all these different directions at once without explanation, which was confusing. Wait, what? Okay, it's, so it's too wait, complicated. Yeah. That's a fair explanation for too sorry. complicated. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's too literally so easily. Or I okay, Sarf. You know what? I initially we'll try, we'll try calm down. It's Sarf, Nick. Don't worry. Oh my God. Sorry. Don't, don't worry about it. So young when I... Okay, when did Return of the King release? Because it was like after... Um, Return yeah, of... there was like... Okay, there was some... Yeah, okay. Dialogue Return of the King. Is it like, Return of the King released on my ear. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just let Sard slip that through. Cringy dialogue. Yes. I um, recall one from the Return of the King. Okay, say it. Give it. Give it. <laughs> Specifically, it? there was a dwarf who could not look over the... I don't know, I still remember this. Dwarf? Uh, yeah, you don't know his could, name. They could not look over, and there was an elf <laughs> there. And he said, let me oh describe my. the ballot to me. I just <laughs> That's, okay. That's not cringe. Stop. That's cringe. That check. Okay, can we just stop? Shall I get you a box? Can we, uh, yes, Are can we just stop? But I still think it's a good movie. It's a nice plus movie. Like, you have no right to review this one. I'm going to gatekeep here. I don't care. You have no right to review this one. You don't even know two of the main characters' names. Okay, there's, there's Sam <laughs> and there's fucking Frodo. There you go. Gandalf, <laughs> and the twins. There you go. I know the names. The twins. No, no. The twins. The twins. Who is the, the king? Twins. Who is the king? Who is I the king? I don't even know who this king oh, guy man. is. He was just a okay. Guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Frodo. You mean you, okay? You're talking about Sauron or the king? I'm like, ah. Soren is the king, guys. Soren is the king. Soren is my king. God, Sarfnik, just stop talking. I don't. Okay, <laughs> just, just stop talking. Okay. I, I can't argue with him anymore. I think all of his points are valid. All right, let's bring it in. Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. Sarfnik. This is a F tier series. Okay. Movie with a cat. Well, I have a question. Why would why would you why did you want to rate the Dark Knight individually, but you rate this as a series? Because uh, I mean, yeah, your narrative. Dark Knight is <laughs> it's episodic. This one is not. Yeah. Like, narrative. Dude. No. You oh, guys, <laughs> you guys should just re replace me with Sarfman. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, replace Sarfnik with me. Uh, excuse oh, what? If you want to do Eisen Index more often, <laughs> I'm stopping you. Yeah. <laughs> How about we do not? Get, get sentimental now. He wants to come on. Give us. A... <laughs> I mean, hey, we can have a permanent third guest, and I'm up with that. It's a <laughs> chaos. Permanent guest. <laughs> Two I mean, who is going to stream the Eisen Index without Sarfnik? Is the big question. Uh, I'll fucking record it. I'll stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. Do you know how to even stream? Is the question. For the final well, topic of the night, Sam nominates himself. Get yourself a good image, Sam. Alrighty. Uh, Nudes on here. Doing. We'll keep it PG 13. Yeah, all right. I'll, um, uh, I'll make a really sexy picture. Sarf Sarfnik's stream can only take so much. <laughs> okay. The relevance to the literal god of Sam has increased manifold now that he has been on the eyes of Index. Granted, <laughs> most entities that will come on here that will be indexed that our debaters will get that bonus. Sam, Sam is a hero of Hearth. He's been around for a while. He's seen some shit. It's very relevant. I've seen oh. some shit. Oh. Right, let me go. How much have I I'll just continue. Yeah. Some wholesome holiday. I'll go get a call of God. The philosophical merit of Sam normally would be an NE for me. However, by the way that he conducts himself, I can tell that he is an excellent connoisseur of most cultural pillars. Uh, the fact that he enjoys something as oblique as the great pretender does wonders for both his rational and filth. 
Okay. I, I started watching it on the Saturday before the second season came out on a Wednesday, and I finished the first season, and then I watched the second season in one day. <laughs> Actually enough, that may or may not be exactly how I did it. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> oh, knew? Okay. Philosophical merit of Sam leaves much to be explored still, but has great potential. I approve. Similar with the rational merit of Sam, he's quite a good Among Us player, particularly as detective. His skills on Minecraft and Ark are both competent. He is a very versatile player when it comes to the games. I know little of his rational merits and true skill sets in Are You Dying? Is oh, mm. What? Shame. Uh, I watched what? Dwayne die a brutal death just then. My apologies. Oh, that's, right here. that's all right. That's all right. Rational <laughs> merit of Sam. Sarfik is present. Okay. And voting. Sam is an A. I wish to see what he is truly capable of in the real material playing. I will have to wait. Hearth meetup confirmed question mark. <laughs> Team potential of Sam. One word here. I'm or sure that the hearth meetup will occur, but more questions. Hey, um, shut up, Sarfnik. Potential. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Excellent. Neil yes. deGrasse Tyson himself would be proud. Perfection. <laughs> Moving my mind. Real new. New? I said new. the real new. new. <laughs> Personal approval of new. his increased manifold. I understand the value of this type of individual, and it is great. I'm wacky. Yes, and the wackiest humans all <laughs> the most experiences. I don't, I don't powwow with all the clones. Oh, here are those NPCs, them. Yeah, stupid NPCs. Sam nominated himself. Flip for the Trump point to see who gets the first dibs. I don't want to hear a roast session. I don't want to hear any simpery. Give us <laughs> raw, unfiltered opinionation. Sarfnik, first. All right, the second literal god will now rate Sam or give him. You're not Sam. the second literal god. Stop saying that. So that. Your personal approval may rise, Sam. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, Sam, for our gnome, was he was a friend with 94A, a friend of 94A's. For a long time. There's a few of... incidents I have to mention here <laughs> with the Hearth SP. First off, his famous rage quit Hearth SP season one when my magnificent wall prevents him from escaping monsters. I do not know if it's present feel... in other seasons. Season three, I feel like we've talked about this. Season before. three and five, he was a good he was a he was like a traveling merchant. He would wander the land looking for wacky things. I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, he was Bump, he was blocked from season four since he had unadded 94A. We couldn't contact him, so F. Uh, Sam, <laughs> in the recent hard years, I will admit he is a dedicated man to the arc. Although sometimes his Sarfnik bad spam can get annoying. <laughs> it seems like be hidden. <laughs> and as an Among Us player, yeah, he's a decent detective. Neom. And even, I'm gonna get you to game right. That's good. <laughs> I am coming up to you. That is all I have to say. <laughs> all right. Well, if anything, right. Okay. So, uh, Sarfnik. Let's see. A few things to say about Sam. Huh. Um, Sam in the past. Yeah, I didn't like what he did in the past on, um, <laughs> I think that's obvious. Was it you that ignited the tea or ignored the creeper right in front of your house? Yes. Or, why did that, you? Is that your way of quitting? No. Here. Okay. This is what happened. It was actually it was by like Sarfnik's Sarfnik's chests or something, and it wasn't on purpose. Oh but yeah. But then I was trying to put yeah. everything back in the chest, and you guys came along and said that I was stealing stuff. Yeah, that's not even his fault that he got banned then or rage quit on that. Case. No, I got. No. <laughs> to be fair, me and Warcry's 
in that time had you bad judgment. You administrators, yeah. <laughs> um, Eric, yeah. I remember that one incident. And I, and I was a child and got upset that you guys accused of me of such things of stealing in a video game. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Even a fucking core protect. Uh, a few things <laughs> I wanted to mention. Um, yeah. So, uh, just for a little um, lore, I guess. I'm going to mention him through 94A, who they have cut off relations. I'm not... Um, he does not want to discuss why. Yes. Anyways, Unrelated. Yeah. So, anyways, um, he is also technically... He used to be a friend of my brother's beginning. Yeah. 94A. Uh, my brother was kind of stupid and retired in under for that time. <laughs> not so like, weird, not though. like as in surf, in surfnik ways. He just was like so fucking weird. <laughs> uh, uh, same uh, this is time. true. Yes, He's this is true. How old was he at the time? What, like ten? Yeah, it's nine or ten. <laughs> so. Anyways, um. E hmm. I can. I think his rational merit might want to go up for constantly bashing on Surfnik. <laughs> Our... I'd rather it doesn't go up. For <laughs> you don't like this idea very much, sir. Shut the fuck up, sir. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think I think that's all I have to say. I agree with most of the good job. Sir. Right, Sam, you're now presiding over your own funeral and/or monumentalization. Hey, go for bro. it. Um, I mean, I don't know. I like myself. You <laughs> fucking egotistical asshole. How could you say that? <laughs> yeah, oh you're, you're that oh, weird. Weird. What Come the on. hell? I'm so mean. Sam, oh, bad. Like myself. One sec. That's, a, that's an F. I've had enough of your bullshit. Felonious <laughs> <laughs> activity. Dylan. <laughs> 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 Oh no! He's giving you all Oh my god! Oh my god! No, not like this! Fuck you, you little dumbass, egotistical. <laughs> You're worth it. At this point, at this point. <laughs> Did you just say I'm worse than Sarvnik? No, you're worse than Mira in terms of oh. ego. Oh, you are oh. worse than Sard. I don't know why anyone would have issues with How that. How dare you say that? Look how bad your fucking skin is. I bet you put like two minutes <laughs> that. I swear to God. You know, <laughs> you know how long that, thing, no. that skin took uh, me? It, it looks Thank like you made your fucking bar. Okay, it looks like you made, oh, like, tried making a dumb like Thanos glove, but it like failed terribly. Bar Barney. Yeah, like a power oh, no, no, anyway, I thought this was fire. Not to be a can, you uh, can you imagine living in Nova Scotia? You fucking dumbass. <laughs> the place is full of retards and like, it's like us uh, so secluded and there's no entertainment. Like, what is wrong with you? Thank you, Mr. Warcraft. Oh, anyways, continuing. <laughs> the little so, god will now pass a judgment. What is wrong with your voice? Seriously, it's always. <laughs> Like, why do you sound like a fat oh, person? That's the big question. Like, <laughs> why are you always laughing? Oh my god. Oh. That's so weird right there. Sir Warcrys, you agreed. Also, I have a question. I, I saw your YouTube channel. Both your streams, oh, the audio man. is so shit. Like, what? That, that, that should be a cringe in that case. Understand? Personal proof is so hard. I and meme potential as well. My cheeks are oh, open man. now from how much I have been <laughs> attempting to hold back, just wheezing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love you. Take that too far out of context. I love you. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> hmm. Let's go ahead and get a barometer of other in entities that I have graded in the past, just for just to ensure that we're doing the right thing here. Work crimes and you just delete. Okay. See, what other people have I rated? Sarfnik got a B minus. The Skeleton Lord got a D. Me got an S plus. Ben Shapiro got an S plus. <gasps> Mr. Beast got a D plus. <laughs> he got an A minus. Oh. Coot got an F minus. 
Steve Harvey. Lord Garmadon got an A minus. Hmm. That was a Ninjago character, by the way, Sam. Green got a C. Yes, I know. Technoblade got an S plus. <laughs> oh no, Man. don't don't compare me to Technoblade. <laughs> okay, Sam and I. Ooh, that's alright. Better than Sarfnik? Well, obviously. Cringe. I'm already better than <laughs> Why didn't you raise concerns about him? <laughs> you know what? Hey, hold on a minute. Let's go back to Sarfnik here. <laughs> B minus. You're approaching me now. Hmm. And I, with butchering started with an editing session. Okay. <laughs> well, guess what? I'm gonna add a new thing. Go to Sarfnik. Sarfnik already got reviewed, and his rating got dropped after the first <laughs> rating. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> that is great. You have to watch Eisen Index episode four. At, at the end of every fourth or so episode, we go back and review anything that might have been changed or that we have any comments that contend with. Fuck off, retard. Let's go to war cries then. Get him out of here. Yeah, get him the hell out of here. I'm going to out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have full fifth international eyes and index public debate thank you sam for coming along and being our guest star your insights of course. And educated opinions on the topics of anime and canadian constitutional law are most welcome <laughs> well that's it for tonight folks hope you enjoyed yourself stick around for next week's eyes and index public debate the last of 2020